In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make a cinematic split screen video to showcase your best work online. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And like I said, I'm gonna show you how you can showcase your best work online in a really cool way with this funky video split screen post that is super easy to make. So we're gonna start in Photoshop. You want a canvas that is 1080p by 1350 because that is an optimal posting format for Instagram. If you don't already have that, you can go image, canvas size, and then just change the width to 1080 and the height to 1350, and that will give you something that looks like this. So now we're gonna come down to our layer here. Let's turn it on. This layer is already white, but if you don't already have a white solid, then you can just go edit, fill, and select white, click okay, and that will fill your layer to just be like a fully white solid like this. Now you go to view and we're gonna do a guide layout and we wanna lay these guides out so that we have three separate rows for our three videos and we're gonna put a little bit of a buffer in between each row to kind of separate them. So let's click new guide layout and we're going to make sure that we click rows, not columns. If it might start already set on columns only, you wanna make sure that you click on rows and deselect columns. We want three rows, one, two, and three for the three videos that we're gonna use. And we want to make the gutter six pixels. The gutter is basically the gap between rows here. So you can see if I make this like 50 pixels, that gap gets really big. But I think that a smaller gap like six pixels looks better for something like this. It gives a little bit more room to your videos to breathe. Anywho, once we do that, we're going to click on our white solid layer over here. And we're going to make a selection of this row right here. So click M to get to the rectangle marquee tool and drag this right out. And now we're going to come down to our other one here, hold shift, and then do the exact same thing. And that gives us these two selections just like this with nothing else selected. Then we're going to go command shift I. This is going to invert your selection. So instead of having those two gutters selected, we have everything else selected. So command shift I. And then we're gonna click delete to get rid of everything but the gutters. And there you go. Now, if you click command D to get rid of your selection there and command and semicolon to get rid of the gutters, you can see that I just have these two gutters on a transparent background. And we're gonna save this as a PNG file so that you can use it for any split screen posts that you want and it gives you a super easy template to follow. So let's go file, export, export as PNG and just save this wherever you want to make it easy for you to access. Now, whenever you export your split screen template, drag it into Premiere Pro, and then here in the project panel, grab your split screen template. You can see I've called mine split screen four by five template, and just drag it to make a new sequence right down to here. This is automatically going to make a sequence that is 1080 by 1350, perfectly fitting your split screen template. We're gonna make sure this is 23.976 frames per second, or 24 frames per second, so we'll go sequence sequence settings, and we can see that our time base is already set to 23.976 frames per second, and our frame size is indeed 1080 by 1350. Now we wanna add our clips to this. So go grab any clips that you have that you wanna include in this split screen post and bring them in here. I've personally already gone and grabbed mine, so I'm just gonna copy them and paste them over here. And we'll begin working on these to make them fit our template. Real quick apologies for like the change in shirt and the longer hair. I just realized there was a mistake in the screen recording that I did earlier. So I just wanna like refilm this part and make sure that you get all the information that you need. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's continue with this tutorial. So we've got this three row gutter thing that we built in Photoshop laid out over our timeline. So now we wanna bring our three clips into the timeline. And whatever your clips are, just like, drag them in here and basically just lay them out so that you have the top one in the top part so you can see like right here this is the clip that i have in the top it'll they'll all like kind of end up in the middle of the screen when you drag them on but just use the position um, parameter here under the motion tab and just like bring them right up here or and you can see that this is the clip i have in the middle and i just keep it in the middle and then this clip is on the bottom you can see i had some position keyframes we'll just get rid of those we'll redo them and I just dragged that one to the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to position our clips by animating the position keyframe. 
so that the clip is framed as we would like it in either the top, the middle, or the bottom section of this split screen post. So let's just start on the top. This clip looks good for now. I kind of want this ball to be actually in the frame. So let's move this up and we'll click the stopwatch icon to start animating the position of this clip. We'll keep going as long as we like what we see. This looks good. This looks good. Let maybe here, let's add a position keyframe. That's the same. And then we'll move forward a little bit. And right here, I kind of don't want this guy's feet to be cut off. I see he still has some headroom, but his sneakers are below this line, which means they're gonna be out of the shot. So let's drag this up a little and then we'll keep going through. And you can see here when he's going to dunk, like there's a lot of room and his body's cut off. So we're gonna drag this up and make sure that we get all of that in the frame right there. And I would normally have a second monitor so that I can see where we are relative to the line a little more closely, but we unfortunately don't have that luxury right now for a screen recording. So let's just punch in like this and we'll position it so that this clip is not going over the line, just like that. And then we'll let this clip ride out. And that top one is done. We're gonna do the same thing for the middle clip right here. So let's get rid of these position keyframes. I'll try this again. I'll just turn the top clip off for this for a moment. And this looks good. So let's just hit the uh, stopwatch toggle animation. We'll scroll through as long as things look good for us. Maybe right here we bring it up a little. Here we can bring it back down a bit. Bring it down a bit there. And in the middle here where his head's a little lower, we'll bring it up. This is all pretty rough and you know, you can like take as much time as you need to do this, but the idea is just to position your clip how you would like it. And then we'll do the same thing to the bottom one here. So let's just disable the middle uh, clip here and we're going to frame up the bottom shot as we like it. So click the stopwatch. This all looks good for now. Maybe right here, let's click the stopwatch again. Then we'll go forward a bit. And here, let's actually get the basket in it a little more. We want the basket to be a little higher here, ideally. And maybe like that. Let's add a keyframe there. And then here, we don't want his head to be touching the top of the frame. It'd be nicer if that was a little lower and he had some headroom. So we'll just bring that down to there. Same thing here. And yeah, that's gonna be good for that. So that frames all our clips up. Now we have to crop them all to actually fit within the uh, movement that we've done. So let's start at the top clip here again. We're going to add the crop effect. So if you come up to your effects panel here, just write the word crop and then grab the crop effect under the uh, transform folder. Drop it on here. You can see I have all these other crop presets, just ignore those. And we're gonna go to every keyframe that we've done for position and add a keyframe on the crop parameter to make sure that the video is cropped so that it's not going over the line throughout the duration of our split screen. So let's add a keyframe on the bottom parameter under this crop effect, since we wanna crop the bottom to be at the line. We're gonna zoom in here to 150 just so we can see what we're working with. So we're gonna drag this out right to there so you can see that the clip now crops at the line. We'll come to the position um, keyframes and we'll go to the next keyframe. Again, add a keyframe for the crop. Everywhere you see a keyframe for position. Go to the next one, line her up, and the next one, line it up again. There we go. Now you're gonna go through that process for every clip just to make sure that nothing is going over the lines. I will show you how to do this for the bottom clip as well. And quick little hack, you can actually just take this bottom clip here, put it in the middle of the two clips and then take the clip that is like actually in the middle on the screen and put it on V1 at the very bottom. And then you don't need to actually crop the clip in the middle because it'll just be covered by the clip on the top and the clip on the bottom. So that'll save you one step. But if that doesn't make sense, then just watch. So this clip here on V3 is now the clip that's on the bottom of the screen. You can see that connection if I kind of like disable it on and off. So we're, again, we're gonna add the crop effect. Just drag this on. We don't really need this first keyframe since it just repeats a little bit further down the line. So let's just skip forward to there. And this time you can see that we're cropping to this top line here. So we're going to toggle the keyframe for the top parameter of this crop effect. 
Let's zoom in again so we can see what we're working with. Now right here, we want to crop the top just like that. Go to the next keyframe and crop again. We'll just keep this moving along. Crop that. That's the same. Let's add another keyframe. Then we want to crop this one. And let's crop this. Bring that out a little. There we go. And now we've cropped the top two clips. And because this middle clip here is on the bottom layer, it's just being covered and we don't need to worry about cropping it. And this basically does it for the split screen post. The only thing that's left to do is color your clips. I've colored my clips with my sports video LUT pack. You can see here, I'm gonna enable all the color grading that I've done. It's literally just my LUTs. If you like the way these look, you can go get them on my website, www.peterserellis.com. They're the LUTs that I basically use to color all my sports videos. Um, I've also done a color grading tutorial in more detail where I colored clips manually and using LUTs. So if you don't want to buy a pack, you just want to like see how to color grade manually and you want to see me go through my process, go check out that video. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can really use anything you want as like this gutter. Like I showed you how to make the gutter thing in Photoshop, but like I have like these paper rips that I use all the time for split screen stuff. So you can put these paper rips if you want in place of these gutters. You can just go online and search for like literally anything that forms a line across a screen and use it to split your screen and apply this same concept to uh, your clips in that way. But anyways, if you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you around for that. And if you have any further questions about this or something that confused you, you just want to say hey go drop it down in the comments i'd love to have a discussion with you down there anyways that is going to be all for this video so until next time peace